Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another Python tutorial. Now guys, it is indeed your ninth tutorial. So today we're going to be having a look at a brand new concept which is control flow and more specifically if statements. Now guys, um, today will be lots and lots of new info that you'll have to process through your brain and it might get quite difficult at times, but I'm sure you guys will be able to pull through in the end. Now guys, I'll just let you know, um, you probably want to be practicing if statements a lot because you're definitely going to be using them tons and tons and tons by the time you start writing more complex programs. So anyway guys, um, what we're going to do is first start off by writing an if statement in plain English. <coughs> So basically guys, plain English if statement could be something as simple as this. Now to make it a bit humorous, I'm going to use a pizza store as this example. So basically guys, I'm, my favorite pizza store, what happens is it closes at 9 p.m. So if you want to order pizza, you have to do it before 9 p.m. So let's say we do this. Let's make an if statement in plain English. If the time is before 9 p.m., comma, you can or the pizza okay so this is just a basic if statement and it just checks if well using plain english if the time is before nine you can go ahead and order your pizza now of course when we press the enter key we get a syntax error because of the simple fact that this is english not python so guys now we're going to have a look at creating this using python so guys i figured for this example it's probably best if we open up a new window because we're actually going to start writing a proper program today so let's type in control n or go to file new window whichever one suits you now uh, just a little tip is um just some really quick ways you can make this run if you're running windows or just cascade your windows and such um to make it easier sometimes i like to uh, program like this when I'm using idle so you have the program here and you also have the shell here so you can execute one and you can also run it well obviously when you execute you run but you know you can um you can see it run while you can code as well anyway guys um so basically in this program we're gonna have a look at a few conditions firstly we need a time variable and why I say a time variable is because we're checking whether the time is before 9 p.m. So the time variable will be an integer. Now we're going to be using integers for today. So let's start by setting the time variable equal to the value of zero. So basically the user may input the time variable. Now the next thing we want to do is have a, another statement that says, okay, now let's set the time variable into what the user inputs. So let's set time equal to integer input what is the time okay so now basically what happens here is time starts off by being zero next thing you know it's now whatever the user inputs and now we are going on to if statements so basically our if statement will be if the time is less than nine let's just say we're all working in pm for now if the time is less than nine you might print we're going to print out onto the screen you can still order pizza so guys, let's go ahead and do this. If time is less than, and that is like math, use the less than sign there. So basically, um, that's also the greater than. So if you're common with just basic arithmetic math and stuff, you'll probably be very common to this. So if time is less than nine, colon. That's all we need. That's all we need to start off with. So basically what happens here is we go if the condition, which is time is less than nine, then we execute. And also guys, you must have a colon at the end. So if time is less than nine colon, hit enter, you get automatic indentation. Now guys, in case you didn't realize, Python uses indentation. So when you go, if time is less than nine colon, anything that's here, anything that's executed here will be part of that if statement. So this will only get executed if this condition is met. So inside here, which is a white space increase or a little block of four characters. So four blank space characters before you start coding. Once you do this, you want to say print. <coughs> you can still order pizza. Pretty simple, hey? So basically what happens here is it checks. If the current time is less than nine, indentation, four space indentation, print, you can still order pizza. 
Now guys, let's try and run this. So we hit the F5 key, or we go to run, run module. And now we must save as always, so I'm just gonna save it as pizza shop. And now it will run for you. What is the time? Okay, let's say the time is only 7 p.m. Oh, that's great, I can still order my pizza. All right, let's run this one more time. What's the time now? Well, it's currently 10 a.m. 10 p.m., sorry, can I still order pizza? No, because of the fact that it didn't print out anything onto the screen, it means we cannot order pizza. And guys, just to show you, if we get rid of this little indentation block, the program will definitely not work. You see, we get a syntax error, expected and indented block. So that is definitely a problem. And another tip for you is to indent, you can also just use the tab key that automatically goes up by four spaces. Okay guys, well, um, that's actually around it for today's tutorial. Now, I'll just let you know it's in the next tutorial when we're going to be having a look at our statements and maybe even elif. I'm not, I'm not sure whether that will be the next tutorial or maybe the tutorial after that. We will be adding to this program and also adding a few else statements to actually print out that saying that you cannot still order pizza. <coughs> Alright guys, thanks very, very much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you, I hope you use if statements in your programs. Alright guys, I'll be sure to see each and every one of you next time.